वेलकम टू द सेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ द सोशल नेटवर्क एनालिसिस कोर्स एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज वेल एज रेलिवेंट रेलिवेंट चैप्टर रेलिवेंट आई मीन दिस इज पॉटनिंग टू आवर आवर आई मीन यू नो करेंट करेंट टाइम वेयर वी आर एक्चुअली एट द मिडल ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन सो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ इंफॉर्मेशन स्प्रेड्स ओवर सोशल नेटवर्क एंड हाउ डिजीज द एपिडेमिक्स डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एपिडेमिक्स स्प्रेड्स Uh, over uh, you know user user network so this chapter is on uh, cascade behavior and network effects essentially we will study you know on social network how uh, information like propaganda misinformation fake news agenda right uh, diffuse over over time we will discuss how users adapt a particular particular say product or particular agenda particular behavior over time and how uh, you know uh, i mean what's the effect of um, social network in general what's the effect of neighborhood structure of a user which basically motivates the user to adopt a particular uh, particular say product or opinion okay so in this chapter what are the major learning objectives we will discuss uh, you know a wide variety of models for information diffusion we will discuss how this diffusion models uh, you know evolved over time uh, you know we will we'll look at models which which are proposed long time ago in fact those models were not related to social network when uh, those models were, were proposed for example epidemic models right uh, those models were proposed those are mostly uh, those mostly come under the broad area of uh, you know statistical physics but one can also adapt those models for information diffusion we will also understand the uh, you know the advantages and limitations of different uh, models and we will try to think how we can you know how we can design our own diffusion model right which can overcome some of the limitations so diffusion is basically a kind of a movement of anything right it can be a movement of an opinion it can be a movement of uh, a, a, a propaganda for example or a movement of fake news right a uh, movement of anything right and this movement basically happens due to the interactions okay for example uh, on social network when we um, when we uh, retweet some uh, some other tweets when we share some other posts we basically adapt to that particular thing and then we we um, further move that uh, entity right uh, to the next step right say so when i when i uh, say when i write a tweet all my followers will actually expose to the tweet right now out of say in out of n number of followers say n by 2 followers would further retweet my tweet so it means that my tweet now has moved from one node to the other node okay or one layer to the next layer now next say for example one of their followers will further retweet it so in this way the information moves from one node to the next node to the next node okay and in case of offline social network say for example user is a interaction network so if you think of some sort of uh, contagion right say again covid 19 now it 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 basically spreads due to the contact due to the interactions close interactions right when two two individuals come closer and say one individual uh, is already affected by covid 19 so with certain probability the other user uh, the other individual would also uh, Would, would 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 also be infected by covid 19 and so on and so forth right so in in the in the epidemiology in the inform in, in the in the disease spreading behavior if we think of you know what would be the expected number of users at certain point in time uh, who are going to be infected by this disease right how can we how can we design such predictive models i'm pretty sure in you know last one or two we, uh, one or two years we have seen many such models many such information diffusion or uh, covid-19 diffusion covid-19 spread models to predict you know number of number of deaths number of infections and so on and so forth so you may wonder 
how you start right how do you start from a particular model what would be your base model and how do we improve this thing further okay so we'll discuss all this all these uh, nitty gritties in this particular chapter so <coughs> as i mentioned basically depends on the gradient in 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 concentration now say for example in a in a particular uh, subgraph of a network right you see that you see that most of the users are already infected right within a community most of the in users are infected now what would be your optimal strategy for example when it comes to uh, you know vaccinate individuals right what would be your optimal strategy so that the information or so that the uh, in, in this case uh, infection won't be able to move from say this part of the network to the this part of the network right and say for example you don't have the you don't have the liver you don't have the uh, uh, enough you, you don't have enough fund to vaccinate each and each and uh, each and every individual so what would be your optimal strategy to choose nodes right so that Uh, choose nodes and vaccinate them so that the uh, you know the infection won't move further okay so <clears throat> information diffusion is basically a process by which information is spread from one place to the another through interactions okay and these three terminologies we are going to use in this particular chapter there is something there is some entity called sender uh, who would basically would be responsible for sending uh, that information or the disease receiver who would receive it right and then the medium medium is basically the channel through which this particular information uh, is sent from a sender to a receiver okay <clears throat> it has a lot of real applications as you as you may uh, you know easily understand healthcare disease propagation epidemic spreading modeling and so on right and there are in fact models to uh, you know to uh, to to uh, mimic the way ebola spread long time back similarly we see covid 19 related uh, models and so on in socio political cascades it's very important how do we how do we model that say whenever a government right um, announces some some um, say some some decision right how this decision will be perceived by individuals whether how people will react to that particular decision whether they would support they would oppose they would further move this thing move the decision from one node to another node and so on in fact there are also studies which basically showed that during this political movement how uh, recruitment happens say for example you want to you want to you know run a particular political movement right on on social network and 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 you need to recruit individuals so that they they further you know they further move your propaganda uh, to to um, to to other uh, individuals right so the question is how do you recruit now this recruitment the i mean the act of recruitment this also comes under say uh other kind of recruitment process for example terrorist recruitment right we we have we may have heard that in in online social through online social network you know criminals terrorists are are also being recruited and they also follow certain strategies it's not like a random recruitment right they follow certain strategy and through the strategy they recruit uh, individuals over time we of course must have heard uh, of, of this movement called me too right has me to me to movement was was you know that that got kind of viral right and not only in india but also outside india and following this me too movement there are other like like star two movement right uh, him too and other other types of movements also happened and people started talking about their you know their sexual abuse and other harassment kind of activities and how how, how they got uh, victimized right so in 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 financial market cascades also we we talk about uh, stock market right um, how how certain stock uh, become so viral overly popular among you know, investors how how viral marketing happens in fact when we talk about targeted advertisement right say for example you want to you want to um, say 
uh, you 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 want to advertise your product, right? But you don't have that bandwidth, you don't have that money or fund to you know to look at all possible individuals in a social network, right? So how do you choose again individuals or groups of individuals in a targeted manner so that your your marketing strategy um, is, is is maximized, right? Of course, in social network, rumors rumor spread. belief spread propaganda spread fake news hate hate speech uh, spread offensive content spread in general these are often modeled or understood using cascade behavior okay so information cascade now when we talk about information diffusion information cascade and information diffusion these are kind of um, uh, synonymous they are used interchangeably but when it talk about information cascade we particularly look at how the tree like structure grows over time what do you mean by tree like structure let's say let's say um right let's say this is a and a is followed by b c d b is followed by e or f and g h right and say a has retweeted something right so among b c d who say, say let's assume that b and c have retweeted a tweet right then say from c uh f and h for the retweeted right so if you look at only the nodes and edges which have got affected right so you will see that it basically follows a tree like structure so this is the source node then right okay now from this twitter network you can create a tree like structure like this right now this is called information cascade so generally information cascade is is model through a tree right but you can also look at i mean if you do not want to model it as a tree as a tree you just look at the individual branches right for example this branch is of size uh, length 1 this branch is of size is, is of length 2 this branch is of length 2 and so on and so forth so your target would be to um you know uh to predict the the uh, structure of this tree meaning that you can you can basically predict the the depth of a tree the breadth of a tree uh, and and you know individual branches and so on and so forth so if you if you can predict the tree right then you are done okay so this is actually about information cascade right so so in fact there is another interesting application of information diffusion which is the diffusion of innovation right for example uh, let's think of a citation network right and let's say uh, let's say at time t these uh, four, four papers have been published and this paper has proposed an i an, an idea and concept a new concept c right and so these two papers at time t plus 1 have cited this paper right so therefore the concept has now been adopted by these two papers so the innovation has moved from this node to the to th these two nodes right now at t plus 2 let's say this paper has cited this paper right this also cited this also cited this okay right so it means that the innovation actually moves from this node to this node also this node to this node it may happen that at this node there is some additional innovation which was moved which basically moved from uh, from this node to this node through this edge but this innovation moved from this node to this node directly okay so you can also come up with a 
uh, with a DAG kind of structure, directed acyclic graph. Uh, why it is acyclic? To think about it, citation network is always acyclic, okay? And it is directed because of the citation, uh, I mean, the directionality of the citation, okay? So, in fact, if you, uh, if you can think of the number of adapters, right, uh, versus year, you see, you can see these kind of patterns. You see here, there are some sort of innovations, right? And that's, those innovations were adapted by different, different um, cities. And you see for different cities like Iowa, Texas, how uh, this uh, number of adapters changed over time, okay? So you also must have heard something called hard behavior, right? So this hard behavior, hard immunity, we have all hard uh, uh, in, 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 in the COVID-19 time, right? We have all hard about hard behavior. Okay. So what is this hard behavior? In general, I mean, in, in terms of hard immunity, it basically says that, you know, the, uh, an, an individual is already immunized, right? So if he or she uh, will be exposed to the, uh, to the particular virus, he or she will not be infected because of this hard behavior. Or, you know, over time, that individual has got infected so many times that it is less likely that in the future when he, he or she will expose to the will be exposed to the particular virus he will not be uh, infected further okay so this is called hard behavior now in 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 case of uh, you know cascade behavior etc when we when we say that when i look at my individuals right and I see that most of my individuals have already adopted a particular behavior, it is highly likely that I would also adopt it, okay? So this is kind of a hard behavior, okay? In fact, what happens is that due to the hard behavior, uh, even if the rest of the individuals, in fact, this hard behavior also is related to uh, my, my mental state, right? For example, say there is a, uh, there's a chance that I can subscribe either uh, I can subscribe to say Amazon Prime. I can also subscribe to Netflix, right? But since I I belong to the US, right? It is highly likely that I will I will subscribe to Netflix, not Amazon Prime, right? Because in US, majority of the individuals subscribe to Netflix, not Amazon Prime. Therefore, I am although I am an Indi uh, so, and and say let, let's say in in, in India, it is uh, highly likely that people generally subscribe to Amazon Prime. So uh, even if I have an Indian, when I move to US, right, it is highly likely that I will, I will subscribe to Netflix. So this is kind of a hard behavior, okay? All right, so another important concept is called echo chamber. What is echo chamber? Let's say uh, there is a network, right, and and say you are a um, uh, you are a pro de uh, you are a uh, democrat supporter pro democrat right so this is you and you are a democrat supporter and most of your followers generally retweet what you tweet they are actually your genuine followers okay now what happens is that over time uh, when you tweet about tweet about some democratic policy or democratic parties, you know, next stage or whatever, your followers would also retweet it, right? And since you are part of a community, your other nodes in, the, in that community would continuously get ex uh, exposed to the tweets that you tweeted or your followers retweeted, right? So over time, what, what happens is that the size of the community, right? grows and, the, and and I mean you can think of this community as not as kind of a structural community that that we are generally talked about topology based community now this community is basically such a community which which depends on how people react how people react how people um, you know uh, retweet and so on and so forth so what times what happens is that due to the eco chamber behavior right you since you are you, you are part of a community uh, which are 
which which is majorly a uh, pro democrat community what happens is that over times you would actually get exposed to more and more pro democrat tweets right and you would tend to retweet those kind of tweets again and again okay so in other ways you see a kind of a uh, kind of a filter bubble it's also called filter bubble in some in some other terminologies right it basically starts increasing okay and it's called echo chamber because a particular particular idea gets echoed by 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 individuals within the community okay so in fact echo chamber is a very important concept in social science theory where where we see that how you know how peop, how all this uh, fake news misinformation kind of stuff gets viral uh, gets get get viral over time and how echo chambers are responsible for the spread of such offensive content okay so and of course in in the in the context of epidemics right we uh, now this is a study about uh, about how ebola right spread in uh, in in west africa right and you see that over time uh, in in different parts of uh, west africa you see the spreading uh, the spreading pattern right uh, increases of course you see most of most of the cases one peak then it decreases over time some sort of normal behavior but it it may not be the case every time for example in covid 19 case we we have already seen two three peaks right uh, in last two three years so uh, it it depends on the uh, the um, the the pattern of the the virus right it also depends on on, on government strategy for example lockdown um, say uh, uh, arrangement of vaccines and so on and so forth so we'll discuss about these kind of models later okay so let's look at some of the some of the terminologies uh, which we are going to use in the remaining part of this chapter so co- what is contagion now contagion is an entity that spreads across a network is contagion can be can be a disease a virus a contagion can be an information okay adapter what is adaptation adaptation is basically referring to the event of infection or diffusion right it is also called activation say so if i if i adapt something meaning that in in, in case of uh, epidemiology i have uh, i have already got infected right in case of say product purchase basically i adapted a particular product right in case of uh, viral marketing i actually activated the particular um, particular uh, product or campaign that that is spreading over over time over o- over social network adapters are individuals who have adapted right and of course the final thing is propagation basically a tree uh, through which an information spreads over time you see here say this is the uh, this is the sender right or initiator and uh, at, this is at time t at time t plus 1 both the followers right uh, uh, have 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 adopted that particular ideology you see here the direction is in the opposite direction of the follower following now since these two individuals follow this guy so this is the follower link right but this link indicates the spread so the spread happens in the opposite direction of follower follower relationship right so and now in c you see this got this individual has got accept, uh, affected then this one and so on now at so and, and then you see that you know things got stabilized so from this network you can create this kind of uh, cascade cascade tree or whatever dag right kind of structure so we stop here in the next lecture we will talk about uh, different types of information diffusion models thank you